And here, we've got Wing Key with me. Yes, how are you doing, Gerald? <laughs> Good, and he is with Legend uh, Tech Solutions, and we're gonna talk about uh, producing your own CDs. Yes. Now, obviously, if you're a musician and you've got your own uh, burner, you can mass produce so many CDs, but after a while, uh, it's nothing like these machines here that are mass producing. Now, there's a lot of services out there, just like Wing Keys, and uh, essentially, your company specializes in producing anywhere from 100 to 500 discs. Yes, uh, we do provide uh, services up to those quantities, and we also provide the solutions of it. So we can uh, do the whole total solution, uh, doing from the printing and yep. the burning of your CD or music content. Okay, so let's like talk about this machine okay, here. Okay, sure. I like this one. You love this one. <laughs> it's got a built-in coffee percolator. It slices, dices, and makes drilling. No, it doesn't. But this is the machine that you would use for mass producing exactly. hundreds. It, it's a machine that handles uh, 300 uh, quantities in terms of CDs or DVDs. So uh, musicians can produce their CDs. And alternatively, right now they're you know adding DVD content and stuff. So you know shows of their at the gigs and concerts. Yeah, right. right so they right. can they can make DVDs too out of it. And it prints on thermal, so it's high quality and stuff. So it's scratch resistant, so it's ideal for throwing around at oh, the yeah. concerts, and you won't get any problems with that. So, well, tell tell us a bit about that technology. What do you mean by by sure. thermal? Thermal technology is a special type of printing uh, option. Where here's an example. It there's three rollers involved: wow. uh, cyan, magenta, and yellow, and it prints right onto the CD case. Uh, sorry, CD uh, label, and it gives you uh, that excellent quality of the look that you want to perceive to the professional, you know, industry individuals that you want to cater to, right? So gives you that real look and feel that yeah, bottom, you want to succeed, you know? But bottom line is is, is You don't want to go to perception. Sony, you know? Yeah. You don't yeah. want to go Sony with a label printed off your machine at home, right? Unless so. you can get Sony to, to print it for you, then that'd be great. But, exactly. But you well, certainly... you got to open the door, right? Get the yeah. foot in the door, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah let, let's look at this this beauty here. Right. Tell yes. us about this. This one is a inkjet CD duplication machine. So right. it duplicates your CD music content, and then it prints directly on top of it right afterwards. And so kind of like for your quick, ideal for a quick run, so... Yeah, but but this is also this is color. Yes, full you, color, full color. Yeah. yeah, this again is a is a beautiful uh, looking uh, finish here. And now for a studio, let's say you're you're in a studio and you want to provide a service for other musicians, ballpark cost for a machine like this. You're looking around approximately two thousand dollars or so just that, for the that, investment. So. That that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Now uh, let's let's look at this machine. Similar type of machine. Yes, it's also inkjet printing, and similar to this technology, duplicates your uh, CD content and then prints right afterwards. So okay. ideal for your small runs job. So also applicable to the studios and stuff. Right. So. Now I noticed here. Yes. Uh, in the music business, there's two elements to what creates success. One is really, really great songwriting. You know, if you've got a really great song, good, you're gonna move forward. But certainly creating a perception. No, definitely. It's and all about that, branding. Yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> yeah. And, and one of the, and, and I'm just looking at some of these. T take a look at these cases here. DVD cases, embossed, yeah. yeah. So, so now that's something that your company can do and offer as a service. Yes, it's, it's kind of like an additional feature that people can add to their element when they're giving out the CDs and stuff. So if they really want to make a bang in the industry, you know, do something like this, you know, get that's, that punch, you know? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And then, of course, here you're doing a... A musician. A, a, mu a musician, so right there's, there. there's the case. Yep. And the, now this is going back, of course, to the service that your company exactly. provides as well. So the providing, you know, the total print solution as well, um, just to make your whole case finalized and packaged. So, right. you know, really being prepared to be able to sell in the stores, you know. <laughs> and, and of course, you'd shrink wrap that. Shrink wrap it yeah. is also an option, yes. There's many companies out there that, that do this type of servicing. Uh, Winky happens to be one of them, yes. and uh, one that we actually prefer with our company. So, uh, but there's a number of companies out there that do that. Look it out, uh, look out for it, and uh, search for it. One point I want to come up yes. with and ta talk yes. about here is there's a difference between replication and duplication. Tell us yes. the difference. Duplication is more for the smaller quantities, and it duplicates on these type of machines that you see around here. Replication is more for really large uh, format, uh, sorry, large quantities. So um, if you're looking to produce around like the thousand plus level, that's when you would uh, burn a master copy and then it would replicate uh, the CDs afterwards for that. So replication is more for larger scale. Uh, right. Duplication is more for smaller scale production. Now when people are doing uh, a DVD, I've heard issues where uh, some DVDs don't always play in every machine. Can you yes. tell us a bit about that? 
Um, there's two different formats in DVDs. Uh, you got plus R and minus R. Typically, uh, we burn all DVDs onto minus R format because they're more cross-compatible onto different machines as much as possible. Uh, the, the problems with the DVDs, you get more with the plus R DVDs, and yeah. that's where some of the issues come up. But uh, for all our DVDs, we try to burn it on to minus R so it's cross-compatible across all platforms and, and devices. And, so. then, and then plus R is something you want to avoid. Something you do want to avoid. Okay, yes. I don't know what minus R plus R means, okay. but but I now know that I should be using <laughs> minus R yes. for DVDs. There you go. <laughs> on, on, on CDs, uh, is there any kind of uh, thing we're going to need to look out for regards to that? Um, CDs, not necessarily. Um, as long as you have, uh, they're all minus R's, right? They're all recordable. So okay. Uh, definitely, you don't want to put a rewritable CD. You don't want people rewriting over, right? So <laughs> don't. Yeah, yeah, they're very good. Okay, exactly. great. Yeah. Well, listen, you know what? You've shown us a, a, a great deal of, of really cool stuff here. So I want to no, thank, thank you, you again, you. Winky. Thank you for your time. Okay, and website coming across here. Okay. I want to get in touch with this guy for doing any of your services. Great, but remember, you know, the internet's out there. There's all sorts of companies, depending on the city that you're in. But uh, certainly, I, I love the fact that you got a lot of uh, a lot of neat things to create some really cool perceptions. Exactly, yep. Added value, you know? <laughs>